Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. For the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 25th to the 31st of January 2021. So let's get straight into your reading Pisces and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Pisces please, angels, spirits, guides? What is the message for Pisces? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords. Card of Gemini. Gemini for me as a reader. Message for Pisces, please, angels. What does Pisces need to hear the most? Thank you. Okay, so there is a card of Be Spontaneous. Can be acting on impulse. I mean, there's a fine line between trusting your instinct on how you need to act and being spontaneous because impulses feel like, you know, intuitive energy. Okay. And angels, what is the message for our lovely Pisces, please? Message for Pisces, thank you. Okay, so we have passion. Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards, Pisces. The first card is the challenge or issue you face for the week. Second card is the advice from spirit. Third card is the outcome should you take the advice. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message as we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so message for Pisces, please, Angel Spirits Guides, 25th to the 31st of January, 2021. What does Pisces need to hear, please? Thank you. Thank you. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, Gemini Capricorn for me as a reader. Seven of Pentacles. And the King of Wands. Leo for me as a reader. Okay, so let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Pisces, please. So can we clarify the cards on the table, please, Angel Spirits Guides for Pisces, 25th to the 31st of January 2021. Thank you. What do we have for Pisces, please? Message for Pisces, thank you. So two cards, three cards there, okay. So I've got the Four of Swords again, but we have the Sun and the Eight of Wands accompanying, accompanying it. Why did I say the Four of Swords again? I've just got the Four of Swords. We're the Eight of Wands and the Sun. <laughs> Interesting. I was feeling that energy quite strongly. So we have the Seven of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. And the King of Wands is clarified by the Devil. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Pentacles here, Pisces. It feels in this energy there is some news coming your way. I mean, I definitely feel there's news on the cards here. Some good news that is bringing in some kind of recovery. Because the Knight of, Knight of Swords is about news, a conversation, communication coming your way that brings change. The Knights are always about change, 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 change. And in this energy, it feels for some of you, there is some news. Now we have an energy of be spontaneous. I feel this is linked with this, the Two of Wands. I feel this is linked with the advice from Spirit. It's a card of acting on impulse, acting on what feels right. 
Yeah, because it's to do with something is very much igniting your passions. I have passion here with the Eight of Wands. I have passion here with the Two of Wands. I have passion with the King of Wands here. So definitely this energy of trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. It's renewed action, renewed spontaneity. And some kind of conversation or communication or news coming in that is inspiring you, that is igniting your passions, desires. Because the four of, four of Swords is a card of recovery and the Sun is a card of restoration. And the restoration and the recovery is coming by some news coming your way and it feels out of the blue. Could be to do with opportunity, uh, connections, a conversation leading to something solid. It is the shift energy. There is positive change, swift change coming your way out of the blue. Um, it may take you a little bit by surprise here, but the sun is a card of good news, celebration, joy, happiness. It could be to do with money, uh, finances, career, Pisces. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is also a card of healing, so can tie in with this recovery energy. But this Queen of Pentacles is, it could be the person that you're hearing news from that is bringing in this recovery, the restoration in your light. Remember, the sun is a card of abundance, so is she. She is a card of abundance. She is a card of um, very good in terms of money career, card of Capricorn. It feels for some of you that something's going to happen. The challenge has been recovery, getting back. It feels like getting back on your feet. And the message is the change is happening. The growth is happening. She is all about growth. Um, can be somebody offering you an opportunity with the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, a sign of abundance. She sometimes represents a working parent providing financially for yourself, for your loved ones as well. Using your practical resources. You might have been using your practical resources and focus and patience to bring this shift into your life as well. But there's definitely some kind of shift coming. Good news, celebration, joy, happiness, something beginning to happen that is, that is putting you back on your feet getting back on your feet and that's what I'm definitely feeling. The seven of pentacles is an interesting one because you know sometimes the eight of wands can represent travel, um, distance, that kind of energy. Sometimes it can be an energy of online communication as well. Um, the, the seven of pentacles is a card of good things come to those that wait but it's also a card of evaluation taking stock. The message is don't think twice about this. Go straight for it. Again, I'm definitely feeling this energy Pisces of take that leap of faith, take that chance, go for something now. Um, don't think twice about it. And that's what I'm feeling with this spontaneity energy. Just go for it. Just take action. Don't this. Sometimes this can be about when you're, you're tested materially, financially, and you've been working hard towards something, and then the shift is coming, and then it's a card of taking stock. Is it right for me? Do I need to evaluate this? It feels that kind of energy. It's a card of, no, just go for it. This is the good thing that's coming to those that wait card. You know, so it feels in this situation, this is something to go for now. Um, can be decisions on your future, but it feels empowered. This is grabbing hold of the potential, remember. So I definitely feel in this situation it comes. It, there's positive change coming. But it feels in this situation that you may have overcome some kind of challenge. Uh, and the devil can represent a toxic person. Now, it's shadow energy, so it can well be uh, an, a, an, a situation that's caused instability. It can be a person that's been instrumental in this because the Five of Pentacles is a card of feeling lack, but also a card of begrudging somebody. So it can be a card of, you might feel this way about the devil. The devil is a card of instability, power struggles, manipulation, ego. Uh, codependency, unhealthy relationships, call it what you will. He's the manipulator, pulls people like puppet on a string. So there's definitely that kind of energy. It could be somebody here, Pisces, 
um, that has caused the Five of Pentacles feeling lack. I mean, this can be about financial loss or changes in terms of your finances, money, career. Made you feel lack, low self-esteem, self-worth as well. But there's a change here because the King of Wands is, it could be a situation as well, just a situation that's caused instability in your life. And again, made you feel the lack here. But the King of Wands is somebody who is in their power. The devil is when we feel things are beyond our control. We feel powerless in a situation, feel like that puppet on a string. Uh, when somebody else is pulling the, pulling the strings and we're just acting accordingly, we have no power over our destiny, no power over bringing change to our situation or breaking free of the chains. But it's an illusion. It's an illusion. And the king of, of wands is a card of somebody who sits in their power. Uh, somebody who knows their power, who owns their power. So I definitely see this change bringing some power shift, some changes in a power dynamic here. And there's a message of go for it. Don't think twice about it because it is bringing some change. And again, the feeling of putting you back on your throne, or it could be somebody who is instrumental in your life. Again, one's energy offering you some opportunity here that you need to go for now because it's, it's empowering. Yeah, I don't really need to say anything more. I've got the Eight of Wands again at the bottom of this deck. So some news, communication that is bringing a positive shift. It could be with a person. It could be a conversation with a person that leads to something solid here. It could be this King of Wands who is a natural leader. It can also be by your actions, by going for some kind of opportunity. It's putting you back on your throne, back in charge. Back in, I mean, here's a card of somebody who's in their power, somebody who represents success, a leader, you know, that kind of energy. So you're either, either dealing with somebody in that situation or this is you. But nevertheless, there is some powerful shift, powerful change open to you now. Don't think twice about going for it because it's the renewed passion, the desire that is bringing change in your, and it feels like in your money, career, finances situation. Definitely some news coming coming your way and coming quite quickly. The Knight of Swords is the biggest, is the fastest, biggest, the, the fastest knight of all the cards, because of the of all the knights, because he is the air energy, the swift energy, uh, communication, technology, you know, um, conversation, uh, news coming your way that's bringing change. And it's linking in with these two shift cards. There's movement, positive change in your circumstances. So definitely a positive change is in the cards. Very, very beautiful. And don't think twice about going for it. I have to say that because it feels like you might be in two minds, you know, and I'm definitely getting this kind of energy. There's a message, grab hold of it, go for it. Okay. So final message for Pisces, please. Final message for Pisces. Thank you. Yeah, I like this card. Oh, yeah. You see, oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, we've got the otter initiations. Be open through this transitional time. You know, that is the energy here. It's initiative. Take the initiative now. And again, the fox very much tying in with shadow work. The, de the devil is shadow energy. So we have, there are no shadows without light. And it feels for some of you, you're getting the light. You're being shown the light in this situation here. And it's allowing you to overcome whatever this darkness is. And it has been a challenge because it feels for some of you, you've been in that period of recovery. But there's definitely an energy of the light is coming your way. Take the initiative. Don't think twice about this kind of opportunity that's being presented to you. It's something to go for here. Very nice energy indeed, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you think, if you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.